Hello dear viewers, this is Philip from The Lookout. Welcome to another of, of our videos. Uh, you know Andrea, and we have a special guest here as well. Hello Tristan. Hi. <laughs> So. Tristan, uh, Tristan is uh, the founder and the creator and founder of, of DeckPlanet.com. Would you like to yes. int introduce yourself, Tristan? Sure, yeah. Uh, my name is Tristan. Uh, I'm from uh, the Netherlands, Holland, and I am, uh, as you said, the uh, founder and creator of DBSDeckPlanet.com, which just uh, launched a week ago. We saw, and we are very, very happy that we can uh, that we can use the website. It's just an amazing tool. We're going to talk about it a bit more now. Um, I think that uh, what what we have seen so far, we have both created our profiles on your on your website. You've you've dedicated a lot of your time and a lot of your skills uh, and in, into making this. Uh, but what is the what is the idea? What was your idea? How, how did you come to the idea of making this deck, deck builder website? Because as far as I know, you are a player and a developer. So yeah, true. Uh, so the idea started around Christmas. I think I started development uh, around two days before Christmas. Um, and the reason it came to be was, uh, of course, I've used all the, the, the existing deck building websites like Shenron's Lair, DBS decks, uh, and most mm -hmm. recently uh, Apex decks. And um, I started thinking like, I'm a developer. I have experience with this. I have experience with user interface design. What right. would a deck builder look like if I would design it, if I would build yeah. it? So it was like a, a little brain exercise, you can you can call it like that. And then the juice started flowing, and uh, I set up a quick draft on, uh, on Adobe XD, which is a designing program, and okay. everything started uh, uh, falling into place. And, and so I started developing the first pages, the first stuff, uh, really bare bones version, and uh, yeah, it just came came to me along the way. Uh, the main reason was, yeah, just like I said, what would it look like, and what kind of features could you add to a deck builder that make it more than just a deck building website? Uh, could make it mm -hmm. a, a platform, like a, a centralized point for all people that are interested in this card game. This mm -hmm. is very interesting to hear. This is uh, we. It's exactly how also do, how we were starting thinking about the lookout. We wanted to be uh, like the, the, an online hub, and yeah. this is this is this is a great idea that that you started from. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, I think Philip, uh, what what was our next? I think we wanted to get into the into the into the like real segments of of the website. Exactly, exactly. But before we go go to that, I just wanted to like say a quick comment about the website. So w whenever I review any site, be it Dragon Ball or whatever, uh, what I like to see is it first of all that it works, what it should, <laughs> what it's supposed to do, which not all do, and that it's easy to use, intuitive. So um, and that's what I liked about your deck builder. It's uh, it really does what it's supposed to. I can see that you have big plans for it, and it's quick. It's it works, and it's quick, and it has a dark mode. So thank you, my eyes. Thank you, actually. <laughs> yeah, that was one of the first things I uh, thought about. Uh, oh, uh, every time I'm looking for cards, building decks, I'm doing this late at night or or yeah. whenever, or early in the morning uh, before work. And then I was like, why are all are all websites white? Not all. I mean, the the the, mm -hmm. the existing deck builders have a dark layout as well. So I was like, why? I should in, uh, incorporate such a feature. I think uh, it will be great. Yeah. And so I did it. Exactly, because it's a design choice to do something white, but uh, sometimes you just, you, you need a night mode in, in any way, <laughs> especially if you're, um, yeah. if you're working on a computer all day and like a lot of people do. So yeah. without further ado, why don't we check out the website, right? Sure, yeah. Uh, okay. Let's go. So uh, the first segment we uh, noticed uh, was actually the community tab. So th yeah, th this is a real nice thing that you can you can actually put all content creators together, so people that actually build decks can see what's new. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's the main uh, main goal uh, of it. Uh, I do meant I uh, did meant for it to be uh, a bit more and I think it will be a bit more than just the mm -hmm. the videos mm -hmm. but uh, I had to make some choices along the way because there were a lot of other uh, features that need to be incorporated first I have a big one that I'd like to talk about later uh, which I think will make will make it stand out from all the others but mm -hmm. we'll talk about it later uh, the community page um, 
for now, yeah, just like you said, it's like a collection of, I hope it will be a collection of all the prominent content creators mm -hmm. uh, uh, where uh, contents uploaded. Right now, uh, my best buddy, uh, uh, Raymond, uh, also known as Razor Sharp on the, the site, is uh, doing the uh, the main content here. He is uploading okay. the content uh, uh, every day at a steady pace. Mm -hmm. And I think, um, no, I'm actually sure. I want. Uh, I'm going to ask all other content creators like you, for example, and I have some other guys I'm talking with, to give them their own little accounts so you can start uploading your content here. That would uh, be so, great. Yeah, that, that's that a great idea. Right. And it, yeah, so and it would well help Razor Sharp not to be on the computer all day. So <laughs> <laughs> uh, me as well. <laughs> as, uh, yes, yeah, so, of course. Yeah, yeah. So uh, uh, that was uh, one of the, one of the first things I thought about was like it needs to be a place. It needs to have a segment that uh, allows other people to, to, to upload their, their stuff, uh, mm -hmm. to help spread their message. And for now it's just videos, mm -hmm. but in the future I'm gonna uh, uh, include like uh, posts as well, but I'm not a blog writer. I don't know how to do that. So I'm mm -hmm. not gonna spend my days writing blogs here about the new meta or the new cards that are announced. I don't have the time for that. But I know there are a lot of people that are really passionate about it, so I want to give them the opportunity to place their content here. So that's going to be a, a big part. Exactly. Community, uh... Exactly. A community, as you as you named it. Exactly. Yep. Okay. So the next thing uh, that is was interesting to us, a small thing, but a very important thing, is the message board. So yeah. it's an <laughs> easy, mm -hmm. it's an easy way to contact you and the other developers to talk about the site, and hopefully, as I can see of your uh, topics uh, to also start a community of people talking here as well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, my main goal for this, and I hope people will, will use it, it's 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 in beta right now. It has the beta label because uh, mm. it's still lacking some stuff that a real forum has. Mm -hmm. uh, you can tag people, which is a nice addition I found. You can tag people in replies and uh, you can uh, edit your own replies. And if you're a moderator, you can edit other people's replies uh, to moderate. But um, yeah, yeah, I want to include stuff like, uh, for example, tag a deck. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you're discussing a card or you're discussing a deck tag the deck in your message you just do ad, the ad sign or some uh, something else and you can just include the deck yep. as a uh, uh, as a tag in your message so mm -hmm. people have a direct link to the to the deck itself without having to search for it or just paste and instead uh, of hyperlinking really everything mm -hmm. this was really missing in, in yeah. many social networks people usually post uh, the whole, whole link somewhere and then you just have a bunch of links everywhere and you don't yeah. know what you're talking about anymore and it's it's i think this is a very it's a very very good thing to to have mm -hmm. yes uh, mm -hmm. but in general i i mean message boards we really have to get away from social networks in that way and I kind agree. of join these smaller community uh, yeah. groups where we can have focused discussions i agree well. andrea because they're they're limited in a lot of ways they they just have the functionality of a social network but all the forum thing all the all the website goodies that well coding can bring you is uh, is beyond yep. facebook is beyond twitter and everything so true yeah mm -hmm. uh, and i also believe that uh when you're on a global net uh, social network like facebook or whatever there's a lot of buzz around the whole mm -hmm. content mm -hmm. so it's not content first anymore which true. is a uh, important principle in, uh, in web design and development stuff um <clears throat> So I hope this platform, will, this, this message board will become a place where people discuss decks, the cards, strategies. It's new and I don't expect it to take off immediately. Uh, of course, that would be uh, mm -hmm. weird, <laughs> but also cool if it would. But uh, I hope along the way uh, people will start placing their questions here. And I think when the tournaments start coming again, uh, oh, right now we're in a lockdown, so everything happens mm -hmm. online. Uh, that's going to be a, a, a time for me to really dig into that community to really get them to to do their stuff in here. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, and of course, I know I'm never going to compete with uh, Facebook or Reddit or whatsoever. That's not the goal of this uh, this message board. Yeah, the this the, message board's just, the yeah. purpose is completely different from the thing they actually are designed for, right? Yeah, so I'm on, on the big Reddit uh, channel as well. Maybe you guys have uh, seen it. Yeah, I put there. Profile. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've posted there uh, about Deck Planet as well with really great uh, responses. But uh, 
that got me thinking. People are a lot uh, are asking questions about the rules, about certain card rules or or plays or whatever. So, yeah, uh, if I'm if I'm gonna promise a platform that has everything, then it mm. needs to have that as well. Mm -hmm. so that was my thought. True. True. Okay. So... Let Let's move on. Andrea, you wanted to say something? No. Go on. Okay. So the the next thing uh, we are all actually excited for is the dashboard. Because it <laughs> has all those fancy little widgets, and uh, in, in your roadmap, I can see more are coming. Um, yes. I turned on all of them so for, for the viewers to see. So we have less video, latest comments for now, popular yeah. decks, latest news, latest decks, a favorite deck, uh, I mean decks, and favorite cards, popular cards. So I'm going to make my, I'm gonna make this my new desktop, Philip. I think. Mm -hmm. You should. You should. Yeah. Nice. That's all I need. That's all I need. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, and that was exactly, uh, you're saying it, right, that was exactly my goal. So when you land on this page, when you click it in your tab, I hope people favor it it's, uh, in their tab mm -hmm. bar. But mm -hmm. if you click it, you should come to a, a spot on the side that has everything that you might need at a glance. You mm -hmm. know, you want to see which cards are popular right now. Um, uh, which uh, decks have been added recently. I like to have the latest decks widget uh, on top because then as a developer, I can see how many decks are being added, if mm -hmm. their decks are being added to the platform, which they are. I mean, just this weekend, there have been uh, around 50 decks extra. <laughs> so uh, so that's really cool. Uh, I want to see the latest news. Uh, I want to see the latest comments, uh, the latest video and stuff. So it's all just little snippets. Mm -hmm. of content. Mm -hmm. I think that might separate uh, uh, in the long run, can separate a website like this from any other. Uh, I like it in my own websites for work that I use uh, for stuff to have short pieces of information at a glance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Sometimes you don't have a lot of time to go digging through everything. And yes. th this is where this helps a lot. Mm. And uh, yeah. Philip, I think Philip, you had a question about resizable oh, vision? Right, uh, exactly. So, uh, a th just a thought when when I was go going through the dashboard, maybe mm -hmm. maybe you really like a widget a lot and you would like to see more of it. So maybe in the future to make a resizable widget that takes two columns of space or three for per perhaps favorite decks or something. Yeah, yeah, good question. Uh, funny thing is that's actually how it was set up in the beginning mm -hmm. uh, that you could have uh, like a, a full width, a three column widget or two. You know, on my screen, it's now it's a three column row, mm -hmm. uh, grid. Some screens, it's going to be two. Uh, it's responsive. Yes, yeah, so so you work. did a responsive layer, which is nice. So it doesn't yep. break. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Um, so uh, when I first started working on the dashboard, it had all these wide uh, two column uh, widgets mm -hmm. and I thought I really need to make make sure uh, what's more uh, important right now. So is it important to have the content in full or do I want to make the widgets smaller mm -hmm. so people have that information at a glance or else they still will be need, need to be scrolling all the time. Mm -hmm. But uh, so that was the first uh, thing I uh, I did. I was like, I'm going to make it smaller for, for now. Mm -hmm. But uh, it is indeed in the, f uh, in the roadmap to, to make it resizable, make it two column, three mm -hmm. column, or reorder the widgets perhaps by drag and drop. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. uh, but in a way, you can reorder it. But I'll need to have to have the uh, yeah, code architecture uh, for it as well mm -hmm. uh, to make it uh, fast and snappy and relatively bug free because things that mm -hmm. like that can. Uh, Impose a lot of bugs uh, in your mm -hmm. layout, mostly. Exactly, especially when you resize the browser screen, you'll have to account for that as well, and that's a yep. whole another thing, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So exactly. now I'm doing a drum roll. Let's get into the deck builder. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> let, let, let's go to the deck builder, which is also really nice. So I'll just uh, go through. So we have the deck builder. When you click on the deck builder, you can see you can set the deck name. You can put the comments. You have your decks here b before, so you can actually modify an existing deck. Yes. And I see... Uh, you... Well, it's not modifying existing deck. Uh, it's using your deck as a template. But, well, uh, yes, exactly. But that's actually yeah. what I meant. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. And I, I can see you're preparing to put the starter decks here, so you can actually uh, use them as templates as well. And, yeah. and the tab behind this, I mean under it, uh, when you click my decks, you can see the decks we've created here. So and when you go over a deck, you can see deck info. So it's just looking through the deck, you can delete it. And when you click on the edit deck, 
you see yep. what you did, pluses and minuses for the cards you already did, edit main deck cards, or edit side deck to implement them yep. before. I'll just go to view deck info now so we can talk on this screen a bit. So, sure. yeah. what what were your ideas for this? Because uh, what I can see, it's really snappy and it looks nice. I can see what I what I need. Yeah. Uh, so I uh, I just wanted to implement uh, a, a quick grid for the cards. Uh, the other side builders has have them as well. So it's a I used the pa the same pattern for it um, to have it in a little grid. Uh, I think it's the best solution. Of course, uh, there will be a list view implemented later on, so you can just toggle between a grid or a list if you like. Mm -hmm. uh, that was which my, is... my, my next question, actually. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, it's really it's, easy. Uh, it's change, exactly this. So. Mm -hmm. It's a really uh, easy change to to implement. The thing with uh, I have to note the thing with these kind of changes is I always have to consider, and every developer for that matter, is this a temporary change or do you want to have the user the control to save that setting? So, for example, mm -hmm. if you're on the view now and mm -hmm. you decide I want it as a list view, are you gonna store that uh, information? in a server or are you gonna uh, uh, make it just temporary when they're on this page so mm -hmm. that's a decision mm -hmm. i have to make yet i think uh for now if i implement it i'll just make it temporary because this is the the, the grid view is the most graphic it has the most uh, it's the most beautiful i think it <laughs> is my opinion of course mm -hmm. but, it's uh, very beautiful it's very beautiful but i can understand if professionals uh, people that that really know the cards just want to have a list uh, that they can uh, toggle between them with a list or a grid view. So yeah, that, that mm -hmm. will be coming. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We can maybe ask our, our viewers to actually answer that question yeah. for you in the, in the sure, comments. Yeah. Well, exactly. Give, give us input. Uh, you can comment, so sure. please do. Yeah. yeah. Or Let me know uh, if I you guess like, we'll yeah. get back to Tristan directly. We'll, we'll leave the, the links, all the links you need, we'll leave them down, down below in the, in the, in the video as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'd love to have some uh, feedback on it. Uh, I can imagine if people like it, uh, prefer it that way. So mm -hmm. this is this is what this video is also for. It's it's very important for I think for you to get the, the input from the community as soon as possible. It yeah. helps you in your work. You have a really very very well structured roadmap. We Philip and I went through it, and we we are we are just amazed with the work that you you've been doing and what you've already implemented mm -hmm. and what's coming. You don't you are not one of those people who who don't deliver on on what they promise. So and uh, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I've been uh, working hard on it, so uh, yeah. Uh, and it um, shows. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So uh, a few things I wanted to comment on the on the deck view. So um, uh, what we as creators would actually like to see more more Andrea and the crew, as well mm -hmm. as um, to be able to use your deck builder to actually uh, showcase a deck when we're talking about it. So. Um, what, uh, as uh, I can see your menu on the left side, you can you can minimize it. So I just minimized it so everything is over there. What would be really interesting is to be able to minimize the description part, so the right column to the cards. So actually, okay. I don't have to zoom out, and I could see all the all the cards and the side deck if maybe I zoom out just a little bit, right? Um, okay, yeah. Or so basically, or, yes, mm -hmm. sorry. Yeah. yeah. So or, you're or, basically saying yes. uh, that if you uh, if you fold in the little description bar with uh, with all the information, that you get your side uh, side deck next to it, and the gr the main deck grid maybe mm -hmm. uh, goes to like a grid of three by. Th Let's uh, say. By exactly. So exactly. It's, I'm a, it, mm -hmm. I'll put it on the roadmap. Sure. <laughs> it basically it, it just makes it uh, easier for all of us to have basically one picture where where the whole deck is, mm -hmm. so we can talk about it in in videos. Exactly. And since you you did a wonderful thing that when you when you click on a card you can view card info, uh, yep. we don't have to zoom in to the card to see it. We all have the text here. So if we were going to comment uh, on a card more uh, in more detail and maybe somebody doesn't know the text. We can just click on yep. that, so it can be a bit zoomed out uh, if needed, but yep. it would be really nice to have all the cards in one, let's say, full HD screen, right? Yeah. So that that would be awesome. And uh, you were talking about the list view, which is um, also very interesting. I was actually going to suggest uh, you maybe doing the same thing in the future, uh, just just to have more options. I actually. Um, wanted to propose something that uh, Gwent did. It's the Witcher card game. 
uh, that was once in The Witcher, and then it was so popular it became uh, it became a standalone online card game. So uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I sent you the picture. Really? It looks more or less like this, where you have little art of the cards. To the left, you have some values and uh, things like that. So, um, and wh why I wanted this is uh, when we're doing articles or something like that, so you have a lot of choice. Uh, some so maybe this view for a deck, uh, maybe this big view for a deck profile, so where we can show some cards for a lot of people that don't maybe know all the cards. So you can go into more detail, and maybe yeah. for a smaller news article, you can just do the list view, and people can uh, look at the cards uh, themselves later, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think it's a good addition. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I'll, uh, I've put it on the roadmap right now, so it should have been updated uh, already. Uh, yeah, I think it's going to be a, a great addition to have uh, people to give people more control over how they want to view a deck. Or mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's actually quite an interesting point you bring up because I hadn't considered how maybe content creators like uh, YouTube uh, you per, YouTubers will uh, uh, will view this, how they can mm -hmm. have. Uh, better use out of a view like this so yeah it's an interesting point of view mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I i like to give myself headaches i'm trying to grasp all the points of view and k hating myself yeah. for it later but sometimes it's useful <laughs> yeah uh, it is I, would, mm -hmm. I was also test testing the uh, the filtering uh, when you're when you're building a deck how do you filter for different cards mm -hmm. uh filtering for, uh, by the cost of the card are is, is that already in the roadmap let me check. Uh, you mean like energy cost? Energy cost, Basically, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I believe so. Yeah, let me check. You can sort by, yeah, you can sort by combo cost, combo power, energy co uh, cost, low, high. You can, uh, uh, yeah. Or then maybe, uh, I think one of our one of our uh, friends made made the point and we'll put it there, but maybe I missed it. Maybe I missed it somehow. Uh, um, but then is, is there, um, uh, so, uh, oh, you're, your roadmap. You are you've just released the mobile version, right? Yep. So yes, and I and I looked for that. Uh, and but that's different from an app, right? Yes, exactly. And that's an yeah. important uh, piece to notice because I got a lot of comments mm -hmm. of people yeah. saying I can't find it. Where is the app? The app right? where, is, where is the app? <laughs> I can't find it. Help me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like no, it's not an app mm -hmm. yet. Maybe in the future, but uh, uh, for now you can just view it on your mobile. And mm -hmm. the fun right. thing is. Yeah, uh, after I released the statement uh, yesterday, mm -hmm. I woke up this morning and I had over 25 new accounts mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, uh, in the uh, yeah uh -huh. the new uh, registered accounts. And during this day today, they just kept piling up. And I'm happy to say that we've just passed 120 accounts uh, nice. like mm -hmm. half an hour ago. So that's Amazing. really cool. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, very nice. For only only a weeks only a week been active on the website and uh, it's... guys subscribe. The deck builder is great. The community is gonna yeah. be even bigger and better. So yeah. But yeah. I'll I'll leave, so. I'll leave the rest of my praise for the end of, for the end of the video. But we are not there yet. <laughs> We're not there yet. We have a lot of more to discuss. Uh, yeah. So uh, we covered mostly all of the websites. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, I, I wanted to suggest one thing, then I was reading the roadmap and I actually saw that you already had it in. So basically a, a card collection manager. Yes, so. it's a big topic mm -hmm. for a lot of people. I've had uh, questions about it, uh, a lot of questions about it. So I want to manage my collection, start, uh, uh, start adding cards that I own and stuff. And <clears throat> the thing is an important part uh, for me to do this and to create a good version of it because of course I can show all cards and just click on it I own this card sure mm -hmm. but I think what set this apart is if I could have a, a deck list for all the, the the starter decks all the release decks and actually I posted on it uh, today on reddit and someone thank you <laughs> submitted me a list with all the deck uh, uh, the card list for all the starter decks because Bandai's website wow. which is horrible by the way I'm sorry but it is horrible uh, <laughs> doesn't have a deck list for all the starter decks. It shows the cards, but doesn't mm. show amounts, right. mm -hmm. uh, which is a real struggle because that would mean I would have to had to research all these decks, buy them if they're even available, and see what and just add them manually. And that would take a lot of time. So I want to really thank, uh, thank the guys that, that helped me with that so I can implement that. What did, my point is, 
Um, then uh, when you have the collection manager, I'm, I think what would be a great addition to see what cards you own from each set, of course, and then a filter by set. And uh, for all the structure decks, the, the you can check, oh, I own the structure deck, and then the cards that are in the structure deck will automatically update to your collection. So you don't have to mm -hmm. add the cards manually. You just Fantastic. click, oh, I have the starter decks, check, 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 check. Okay, that will That'd update be automatically. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> because that's going to be a really uh, a tedious pro uh, progress uh, process if you're going to have to add them all by yourself. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so yeah, it's uh, it's high on the roadmap. There's a lot of uh, questions about it, so I think it's going to be uh, one of the next uh, big features that should be implemented. Very <coughs> good, very good. Yeah. Good to know. Mm -hmm. um, and um, you were mentioning so also something about the connection with a car market with CG player. Yep. Uh, so that's, I guess, also one part of the roadmap uh, that maybe we, our viewers would like to know more about it because of the yep. pricing and, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, as a matter of fact, just today I pushed a little update where you can now, it's not there yet, but you mm -hmm. can click a card and if you show the card, you have a link to the TCG player. Uh, I just saw it. Card. I just saw that. Yeah, uh, that was just a small little addition I had to do because I felt that's important. Uh, I've signed up with uh, with Card Market uh, to get uh, permission to build an API or to or to connect to their API for the pricing, and yeah. I'm in talks with uh, TGC, uh, C, yeah, TGC player to uh, yeah to do the same. Yeah. So I hope uh, in well not a long time I can implement the pricing, yeah. mm -hmm. and then I'll show it for both uh, Card Market, which is mostly European market, European, and, exactly. and yeah. yeah. And the TCG uh, player, so you yeah. have f f both both people, yeah. both kind of players. So you have. Uh, but let me ask you a more kind of general question: What do you need at the moment? Are you also looking for sponsorships? Are you looking for what are you looking for as a as a builder of this website? Um, currently, um, users, <laughs> of course. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's going great. I mean, I just said uh, I passed 120 users today, so I'm really happy for that, and and I hope everybody that signed up enjoys the website uh, and if they don't let me know because that's really helpful for me uh, for now um, I would probably need a, a, a bit more awareness to get people to, to sign up because I really want to make this a good thing uh, mm -hmm. uh, and in the long run yes yeah, sponsorship as well uh, mm -hmm. because I need to keep the website live uh, it's not an not at all a very expensive uh, uh, picture, not yet at least, because I do feel if I'm gonna pass 200 users, I need to upgrade the server because the server is now for around 150, mm -hmm. max 200 uh, capacity to keep it fast. And then the cost will be a bit more, uh, a bit higher. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, in the long run, maybe some donations always nice, you know, but I'm not in, in it for the money. So uh, I wanted to make that sure, uh, make that uh, yeah. clear. Um, so yeah, I need to, uh, a lot of people to come and sign up and i'd love it if you guys uh, get an account uh, to post your content on the the, the community page uh, which we will uh, set up absolutely, absolutely. Nice. Great. I think, well, we, we have our own personal accounts but we we would like to make one for uh, for the look for the specifically lookout. Mm -hmm. because yeah the, exactly yeah, yeah sure yeah. Uh, and yeah, once again, suggestions. I am always looking for suggestions for, to improve upon it. Of course, not everything can be can be done immediately. Uh, in I do want to mention that I am considering building an app. Mm -hmm. I am, mm -hmm. I am, because I know there's a lot of uh, there's a big market for it because a lot of people are asking, is there a deck building app for not just Dragon Ball but for other kind of card yep. games? Mm -hmm. I'm considering it, but I know from experience it takes a lot of effort, uh, right. time. In the end, money, but I'm gonna build it myself, so mm -hmm. the cost will be relatively cheap. Exactly, but it'll take more time because it's a different kind of coding than uh, what yes. you're doing in the so, website. So, but exactly. in the meantime, you did the mobile version, which is very nice and a nice, yeah. let's say, um, placeholder for a future app one day, maybe. Yeah, I mean, I mean, not only having a deck building website on the app, but generally having your card collection, having mm -hmm. the yeah. whole experience that you're providing now, having it on your phone. Is something yeah. that we don't have. We have there. There is an app uh, that actually I think connects directly to to Bandai's website, mm -hmm. uh, okay. but it hasn't been updated since last summer. 
Mm. Uh, so there doesn't have all, all the all the new cards, all the and, new cards. and it, mm -hmm. it, it didn't even, even it, it worked, but not it wasn't that useful. There was another one uh, back in the day which connected to different prices as well on on, on car market and on TCG player, mm -hmm. but it, it was was very very buggy. It didn't work very, very well. So this is something we, we, we that, that I believe that our viewers will will also agree that we need. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, I yeah. think so as well. Because, mm -hmm. uh, but <laughs> I'm gonna talk uh, speak for a lot of people here, and I think people gonna agree. What Dragon Ball needs most is an online game client, mm. like mm -hmm. uh, uh, Duel Links for Yu-Gi-Oh, which is a fantastic little app. But uh, and Unt because Untap is great, but mm. it's not mm. that fantastic, and no, uh, course, it has a lot of issues with with uh, uh, with. Because it's so g uh, generic, it's for all types of card games, and mm -hmm. bless that it that that it's here and we can use it to play our games. But mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, <laughs> I uh, had a discussion with, about this with the guy from Apex Dex. We talk on Reddit together, and okay. uh, uh, <laughs> he, uh, we both uh, came to the conclusion that if you can build that, you have the golden nugget. Nugget. <laughs> ah, <laughs> if you I can see. build an untapped version for Dragon Ball specifically. Yeah. Uh, that has really user friendly and even has card effects and and, and special effects and stuff. You yeah. have the golden nugget because I think that's something mm -hmm. really really uh, neat to make but this I, game more popular. Yeah. I, I, saw, I saw agree. a trailer. I saw mm -hmm. a trailer for it that someone already made it, and not not finalized yet. But it's 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 basically it's, it's almost there. But I I haven't seen it. I I know they it. Cancelled it. it. Yeah. They cancelled it. Okay. I believe yeah. so. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. com yeah. Uh, please uh, mention in the comments down below if if you think it's wrong, if you know it's wrong. But mm -hmm. for what I've heard, the developers have stopped working on it uh, since since a while now. So I don't think it's coming. Mm -hmm. But yeah. okay. You know. Well, we'll we'll have to see about that as well. But uh, yeah, I think during during this time when we can't meet physically, we are ourselves. So basically, our local scene in, in Croatia, we are doing everything via Discord. So we we we, yeah. we don't play physically anymore. And uh, no. I, I live in Brussels, but when I come to Croatia, I play with my guys uh, uh, like basically just fr friendly games. But all the local tournaments are held on our uh, the Lookouts Discord channel. Where also Philip made his miracle skill, so made uh, a very nice thing where you type in a, a keyword skill or, or or any basically word in the game, and it, it pops up an explanation. So like Discord is kind of creating this kind of online environment for mm -hmm. us that we can that That's we can cool. enjoy the game, we can learn new things in the game, and uh, you can, you can run a tournament through Discord, but that's not what we want. We want to meet yeah. physically, uh, yeah. and I hope that we will be able to very very soon. I, I think you also wanted to talk about the situation in the in the Benelux, right? Because you are from the Netherlands. Yes, from that. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's the same. Um, here in the Netherlands, the community isn't isn't exploding yet. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm uh, in North Holland, which is uh, the northern part of the country, and uh, near Amsterdam, let's put it that way. And me and my friends, we play in Alkmaar, which is at the, mm. uh, somewhere in the top, uh, at Card Lounge, which is a card shop that recently started right. uh, doing business. And it's really nice. We uh, know the owner, and we, uh, yeah, we're always good mates with each other. Uh, but yeah, during the now, due to the lockdown, we cannot play. Um, but the community is still. It's still growing in the Netherlands. I believe there's in Eindhoven there's a big community and Enschede. Mm -hmm. I've been there once and I've met some uh, really cool uh, people. Uh, I believe one of them, Tommy, uh, is a judge. Yeah, actually. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's a really cool guy. Also developer, I believe. Um, so he's a really cool guy. Um, I'm going to apply for a judge test as well uh, when they uh, they uh, because the the shop is recommending me and Razor Sharp for a judge uh, exam. But yeah, I'd love to. I'd love to uh, to have a bigger community because it's growing steadily. And uh, what I found most interesting, I hope you guys. I'm not sure if you guys agree, but out of uh, the the main community within my region is all 30 or older, 30 years old, uh, 30 years old or older, because it's a bit of a nostalgic thing, you know. Dragon Ball, it's from our youth, and we have some younger players, but. I mean, I believe the youngest is 25. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, it's really Same cool. In our, to see. Well, in yeah. our community in, in Belgium as well, I think in Croatia we have a lot of younger players, but in, mm -hmm. in, in Belgium is around, around, around that age. Yeah, in, in Croatia we do have uh, some high schoolers and younger players. The, the older players are basically us, the lookout. So, mm. <laughs> and, and a few more. Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, it's cool to see as well that a lot of uh, uh, Yu Gi Oh players are switch making the switch. 
because they've been fed up with the uh, Dragon Ball card game. Uh, sorry, with the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh card game because of all the the power creep and stuff. From mm -hmm. what I've heard, I I'm not a player of that card game. I've played it really casually uh, once. Uh, they're switching over because they really like the mechanics and and how easy it is to pick it up um, and relatively cheap it is compared to all the other oh, of course. <laughs> no, card of course. games. Of course. But uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. But good. Very very good. I mean, you're bringing a lot of fresh fresh air to the game with uh, with this kind of a website. So we're really hoping that uh, a lot of you you you'll, you'll, you'll be getting a lot, lot more users in the in the weeks to follow. Uh, we're going to help you, of course, in, uh, in 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 spreading this this interview itself, but also the links to our website. And it's, uh, we we are present in almost all Euro European groups on Facebook. And basically, Facebook is our main uh, well, yep. main engine Absolutely. where we kind of share all our content. So we'll spread so the word. So hopefully, guys. <laughs> Get in, make your decks. Sign up. Uh, your, mm -hmm. Sign up. Enjoy so, the, the uh, content. Enjoy the mm -hmm. deck builder. And uh, there's something I wanted to add as well, if if you'll allow me. Mm -hmm. of, course. Um, of course. One of the big features that I wanted to uh, want to implement from the start, but is not there yet, is a tournament builder. And uh, what this is, this is going to be a special part of the a website app. I prefer to call it an app but, uh, mm -hmm. right now, mm -hmm. um, is a special section where you can set up a complete tournament in one screen. Meaning, uh, mm -hmm. in, so you can select users, add them to a tournament, say uh, I have, uh, I'm going to start a local tournament within a shop. Uh, it has 10 players, okay, randomize the player ma pairs. Uh, matchups set a timer for each round make uh, make it completely interactive mm -hmm. because i think that's gonna uh, uh, can be a, a really valuable a asset for for the app as well and what what separates it from the other things but again because the card uh, uh, card lounge owner i've talked about it with him and he said yeah there's no real software for organizing tournaments for dragon ball at least uh, they use the economy stuff i believe but it's sure. uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I'm. I think what what we have there was there was an official message from Biden to use only TCG Meister for this. Is that true? Ah. Yeah. Yeah. And okay. and that's a, that's a mandatory if you want to run a locally so t prize official. supported yeah, official sure. tournament. Yeah. They have to use TCG Meister because it sends the report from the tournament directly to Bandai. Yeah. Ah, yeah. So true. I, I believe I've heard so, that as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But what but but what you are doing it it can be it, it it's of course a wonderful addition but I think yep. it will not be possible to use it for official tournaments but still it's nope, it's an amazing nope. thing although if uh, thing. if the site grows a lot you can still uh, maybe pitch it to Bandai one sure. day as an idea sure one day yeah mm -hmm. uh, I believe uh, just like you said uh, it's not uh, gonna replace any official tournament uh, stuff that's not the goal yep. uh, yeah. it it would be great if something came along uh, came along like that but and uh, it's more for like now with the whole online stuff, people want to start tournaments uh, that are not official, just start online tournaments. Right. Mm -hmm, Why not do it this way? Why not have a website that just allows you to create a simple, with a simple interface, create your tournaments, uh, assign pairings, start rounds and stuff. Maybe even in the future, uh, connect users that are logged in uh, mm -hmm. uh, and let them sign up with their decks. So they can just sign up for a tournament in Deck planets. Uh, select which deck they're gonna use, and mm -hmm. then uh, yeah. it's it's a long uh, it's a long way from from being complete. But uh, it's one of the big things I think can make a difference in in sites like this. I so certainly would because we are now running tournaments using several several of these apps or several websites. So yeah, mm -hmm. that will be, hel be helpful. Yeah, sure. Uh, uh, once again, if, if uh, I'm always open for help, so if there's any developers out there that know the way around JavaScript, Node.js, and React, Nat uh, React and React Native, uh, hit me up because I can always use the help uh, thinking about these features and setting them up because uh, mm -hmm. that's where it all begins. I'd love to say yes, but I'll, I'll contact you in a few years. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> that's or okay. may maybe sooner, it depends on how much time I got. But yeah, cool. yeah. very good. Cool. Good. Yeah. Then we are, I, I believe, at, at the end. I would like to thank yeah. you, Tristan, uh, one, once again on behalf of the whole team. And uh, thanks for coming in with us for, for this interview. Thanks for uh, presenting your website. And yeah, uh, well, really nice. good luck. Good luck thank in the future. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. And uh, maybe we'll uh, speak to each other soon. Yes. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Absolutely. <laughs> so, okay. thank you once more. And, uh, dear viewers, please, if you have any comments on the deck builder or anything, comments, 
sign up to the deck builder, always uh, have some fun with it, check it out, and of course, subscribe and keep a lookout for new content. See you next time.